next guest knows a thing or two about being a queen. She broke barriers when she was crowned the very first black winner to be Miss Ireland. Please welcome all the way from across the pond, Pamela Uba, the reigning Miss Ireland. Yeah. to be speaking to you. Where are you calling us from? Oh, I'm calling you from my living room here in Galway, and I'm such an honor to be able to talk to you all, and especially Adrian. I used to watch you on Cheetah Girls back in the day, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sending you the biggest cheetah hug. That's so cool. What well, Pamela, welcome hug. to the show. <laughs> okay, first of all, Winning a title in the pageant world is already tough, and you not only did it, but now you're making history as the first black woman to hold the title of Miss Ireland. So tell us about that history-making moment. What was going through your mind? I, I suppose it was always a dream of mine as a child, and I always was a determined person, wow. and I thought, you know what, if I put my all into this and do my absolute best. There's no way I can let myself down. And it was such a dream oh. come true that night when I was crowned. Ooh. Oh, wow. That's so what cool. a beautiful moment. Yeah. That's fantastic. Well, your backstory is interesting as well. You were originally, uh, originally from South Africa, but moved to Ireland when you were only seven years old. So what was it like to grow up oh, in Ireland, cute. especially as a little black girl? It was different, of course, because we are the minority of in immigrants in Ireland. And I had to adjust to that. And the situation where me and my family were placed in a direct provision center is essentially where you seek asylum. So that was a strange process in itself, never wow. mind coming to a new land. So. It was a very difficult wow. time. I can I, only imagine, yeah. right? But you did it, and you stayed in Ireland, and then you got into the pageant world. How did that start? So it was actually by accident. Um, one of the girls that I know was getting crowned uh, the night when I was working in a bar, and okay. I just went in to give the judges a glass of water because I was just working, and one of the judges was like, why don't, like, are you a contestant? And I was just like, Oh my God, no. But she's like, why don't you join? <laughs> so <laughs> and stunning, I was, yeah. I was so shocked by that. <laughs> That's oh, cool. Wow. wow, that is amazing to be asked that and then coming come in, in that way. That's pretty cool. I, I never had the, the confidence before to do it. And I suppose um, that just showed me that, you know, other people think you can do it. So why not go for it? Exactly. Right. Exactly. Not only are you beautiful and you are now Miss Ireland, but you're a graduate of the prestigious um, Trinity College in Dublin, and you work as a medical scientist? Not yeah. just a pretty face. <laughs> yeah. What oh is... God. I'm so... I love that photo. What is next <laughs> for you? I suppose... I don't know where life is going to take me. With my academics, I really wanted to do medicine, but I also have a passion for modeling and singing. Yes, so yes. I don't know. You know, I think that women were multifaceted and we can yes. do whatever we put our minds to. And Say I showed that, that this year. That is right. so yeah. true. And not wow. only that, but I bet you know how to have a good time too, because St. Patrick's <laughs> Day is tomorrow. So how does Miss Ireland plan on celebrating? Well, so hopefully we're going to have our parade and I'm going to go out and hopefully I'll get to walk in the parade. You never know. Oh, yes. 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 That would be so awesome. Well, Pamela, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. And again, congratulations on your history-making win.